Uh, what? Where am I? Ah, Citizen Plus? Citizen Plus! <laughs> Doesn't look like it's on. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's on. Make sure the McFly boy is prepped for his Citizen Plus treatment by the time I finish with my husband. How is Citizen Brown? What a bitch. I'm afraid it's worse than we imagined. He's gone completely antisocial. Gone. Why? We're using every tool at our disposal to snap him out of it. But I fear that nothing short of a complete personality rebuild will bring our leader back to us. And it's this all McFly's fault. Shot. Unbelievable, isn't it? One teenage hooligan has brought Hill Valley to the brink of ruin. Ah, well. Let me know when he's ready. I'll be tending to Citizen Brown. I gotta get out of here and rescue Doc. Someone's locked up all my stuff. I'll never get that combination on my own. Hey, let me out! Uh, okay. Hello? What? Why is all my stuff locked in a cage? In order to ensure that Citizen Plus patients don't injure themselves, their belongings are placed in a locked box until the completion of their Citizen Plus treatment. Injure themselves? It's a very intensive process. Some people can't handle it. Of course. Hey, could you get me a burger or something? The only food I've had today is a tofu dog. Regrettably, sir, the rigors of the Citizen Plus treatment require you to begin the process with an empty stomach. Can I take a look at my stuff for a second? Why? I, uh, want to make sure my guitar neck isn't getting bent. What? Come on, man. My parents spent a fortune on that thing. Fine. Back away from the door, sir. There. How's the guitar? I guess it's okay. Good. No, you should have knocked him upside the head. Son of a bitch. Oh, my lord. That's not very relaxing. Hello? What now? Can I take another look at my stuff? No. Let me out of here. Sorry, sir, but Citizen Plus patients aren't allowed to exit their waiting rooms until the Citizen Plus treatment chamber has been suitably prepped for their procedure. 
You can't keep me in here. It's against the law. When you signed your Citizen Plus treatment agreement, you gave the Citizen Plus ward legal approval to incarcerate you until the completion of your Citizen Plus treatment. I didn't sign anything. Of course you did, sir. Citizen Edna handed me the paperwork herself. Of course she did. I don't suppose you believe me if I told you that Edna forged my signature? That's a good one, sir. Can I take another look at my stuff? No. Well, fuck. <sighs> Martin? Ah! Dad, is that you? Who else would it be? Where are you? Back in the garage. What are you doing in the Citizen Plus ward? Edna threw me in here. She can't do that to my son. How can I help? Unlock the fucking door? Stay close, Dad. I'm as close as I can get, Martin. Dad! How can I help, son? Is there any way you could help me escape this loony bin? What did you have in mind? I don't know. Maybe override the security systems or something. Override the what? Son, this isn't a science fiction movie. Oh, fuck. Is that a retard? I tried to peek over the guard's shoulder to get the combination, but he's too tall. Over his shoulder? Hold on. What? I may have it on tape. Zoom, enhance, zoom, enhance. Ha! What? The camera was high enough to see over his shoulder. Nice work, Dad. The combination is 2 left, 8 right, 18 left, 32 right. All right. Hey, your guitar. I'm sorry I tried to throw it out. Yeah, the guitar is pretty cool, but this is what I care about. No fair making your dad all misty, son. I mean... So I got my shit, now what? I mean, there's nothing else here. Hello? What now? <sighs> hey, let me out! Okay, what the fuck am I missing? Wow. I can't plug my guitar into that. can't plug my guitar into that. You could if you had any brains. Playing my guitar over the speaker is going to attract a lot of attention. I should wait until I've got the right audience. Oh, my lord. Dad! How can I help, son? Not that I'm not happy that you're here, but why are you here? I'm looking for your mother. Mom? After you left, she and I had a big old fight, and, well, she went and signed herself up for a full battery of Citizen Plus treatments. Didn't you tell her about Biff? I tried. But you know your mother. Once she puts her mind to something, she's a regular force of nature. I of figure that is. if I can just find her, maybe I can talk her out of this foolishness.
Dad, those Citizen Plus watches are gonna turn everyone in Hill Valley into robots, starting with Citizen Brown. I always suspected digital watches were evil. It's not the watches, Dad, it's Edna. She's completely lost it. Citizen Edna's crazy? Oh, that's not good. Although it would explain a lot. So, have you found Mom yet? Not yet. You wouldn't believe how many cameras they've got around here. Yeah, you're going to have to tell me how to pronounce that, or I can just call you Tilly. And yeah, sure, go for it. Of course, it is up to my discretion whether it gets played or skipped. But I'll check it out. It's nice that you're concerned about Mom, but couldn't you come down here yourself? I'm probably in enough trouble with the authorities already. No, I think it's better for everyone if I stay here in my garage with my televisions and cameras. Like a true peeper. Dad. I know this is a lot to accept, but I've got to rescue Citizen Brown so that we can go back in time and stop him from ever marrying Edna in the first place. You're right, son. That is a lot to accept. So let's forget you ever said it and just concentrate on getting you out of there. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. Is there any way you can help me escape this loony bin? What did you have in mind? I don't know. Maybe... Override the security systems or something. Override the what? Son, this isn't a science fiction movie. Stay close, Dad. I'm as close as I can get, Martin. think so. Of course. I can't plug my guitar into that. If you're still here, Jen? let me know how to hey, pronounce Jennifer. your name. I gotta get her attention. So... What? I can't plug my guitar into that. I don't think a picture of my dad would be useful here. Hey, Jen! What are those windows made of? Dad! How can I help, son? Could you let me talk to Jennifer? Jennifer Parker? Yeah, she's in the room next door. Let's see, that'd be waiting room beta. Got it. You're all patched in, son. Jennifer. Martin, is that you? Where are you? I'm over here, in the camera. Oh, Martin, aren't you in enough trouble already? Trouble? Jen, what are you talking about? You know, with all the drinking and the PTAs. Jennifer, oh, what's wrong with you? You sound... 
strange. I used to be strange, Martin. But thanks to my First Citizen Plus treatment, I'm well on my way to becoming an average, well-adjusted teenager. Citizen oh, Plus? Fuck, oh, God. no. Jen, not you, too. How'd you wind up in the Citizen Plus program, anyway? My dad signed me up, and it's a good thing, too. I was completely out of control. I kind of liked it. Yeah, she's been got... Jen, this whole Citizen Plus thing is a scam. Edna's using it to take control of everyone in Hill Valley, including her husband. You know, Citizen Edna told me you were having paranoid delusions, but I had no idea. So, what was your Citizen Plus treatment like anyway? It's... it's... well, that's weird. I don't really remember. Must be a side effect of the treatments. Why is your door open? Now that I'm finished with my Citizen Plus treatment, I'm free to go whenever I want. I'm just waiting for the nice guard to escort me out. Hey, on your way out, do you think you could help me break out of here? Oh, I couldn't do that, Martin. It's against the rules. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's, it's kind of lonely in here. I don't think it's a good idea for us to see each other until you've undergone your first Citizen Plus treatment. Why not? Because your gosh danged hormones are out of control, Martin. What the fuck? Hey, do you know what time it is? No. Didn't they give you some kind of digital watch when you were done with all that brainwashing? The Citizen Plus watch? I won't get one of those for another five or six treatments. Rats. Jen, snap out of it. This isn't the real you. I mean... It's kind of like the real, real you, but not like the real you in this timeline. Wow, that's... I know, it sounds crazy. I'd never call you crazy, Martin. You're just sick. I should know I used to be sick, too. But now, I never want to spray paint a Buick or listen to rock music ever again. Could you hang around for a few minutes? It's nice to have someone to talk to. I'll be here until the guard comes for me. Then I'll really have to tell him about how you're hijacking the cameras. Oh, come on. Don't be a narc. I'm not a narc. I'm a good citizen. Yeah, ratting someone out is being a narc. Okay, Jane, here's a little something I think you're gonna like. At least, I hope you still do. Martin? Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Okay, hang on. I gotta fix that. Martin? What are you doing? What's going on here? I have no idea, sir. I was minding my own business when all of a sudden a horrible noise started coming out of that camera. Well, that's not right. Yeah, well, neither is this. No one scrambles my brain, you hear me? No one. I'm Jennifer Parker, rock and roller. My kind of woman. Oh, yeah, right. Jen! No time for small talk, McFly. We need to get you disguised so we can walk out of here. Calvin Klein underwear? Really? There. How do I look? A little short for a stormtrooper, but it'll have to do. Come on! Okay, Hotshot, what's next? Now we rescue Citizen Brown, get the hell out of here, and get things back to the way they're supposed to be. Whatever, just as long as I get to break some stuff. I've got a lot of pent-up hostility right now, you know? Miss Parker, 
What the? Yeah. I'm here to escort you to the lobby. Your father's waiting for you. Can he wait? I was hoping that this attractive young man could take me on a tour of the facilities. I'm afraid I really must insist, miss. Relax, Jennifer. I've got everything under control. Really? Really. Okay, then. But first... What was that for? For saving me, dummy. Let's go, officer. You know, I'm probably gonna have to write you up for a PDA violation. Don't bite me. What? Rock and roll. I mean... Hey! Shh! Busy! Do you mind? I'm trying to run a complete personality rebuild on the big man himself here. And? And the last thing I need is your stubby little fingers turning Hill Valley's savior into a drooling rutabaga. Is there a problem over there, citizen? No problem, ma'am. Good. Let's get back to it. Oh! So... Don't touch that! I need the caffeine! What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for the bathroom? The next scheduled bathroom break isn't for another 158 minutes. Right. Of course. No, no. Wow, they've really got this door locked up tight. I wonder what sick freak they've got in here. Ah! Of course. I should have known. So... Can I have some of that? Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's Tannins. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I can be pretty persuasive. No. Fuck you, dude. Increase somatic sensory fluids by almost feel sorry for the poor guy. Almost. Can I have some of that? Feels like I haven't eaten in Fuck. years. No, that's tannins. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I can be pretty persuasive. No. No improvement, Citizen Edna. Shall I recycle the treatment? Very well. Increase the overall.
Um, so how do I get this hard part of to get busy? Don't you understand? The pill for Beth. Can I have some of that? Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's Tannen's. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I could be pretty persuasive. No. Can I not just knock this guy out? Hi, Biff. Looks like your intercom's busted. Eh, just as well. It'd probably be just a bunch of swearing and mixed metaphors anyway. You want out of here, big guy? Guess they don't work. The guard says I'm not supposed to give you any food until you swallow your pill. Um, okay. Oh, Biff spit. Hey, is that a public display of affection over there? What? Uh, sorry, it was just a shadow. Stop goofing around and get back to work. Yes, sir. been feeding Biff horse tranquilizers? I mean, it would fit. You, God! Who, me? I, I mean, me? Yes, you. As you can see, that slacker of a technician is sleeping on the job again. Please be a dear and tend to the Citizen Plus control panel, will you? Uh, sure. Okay, Doc, I'm in. Now, how do I get you out of here without turning you into a vegetable? Jeez, where's the off button on this thing? Hey, an equalizer. At least, I think it's an equalizer. Optics. Factory. I think I know what that means. <laughs> what the? Looks like the aroma tanks have clogged themselves again. Oh, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Come on, make yourself useful. I'm sorry about the delay, dear. This'd go a lot easier if you just gave up this madness about time machines and altering the past. Back you off, should concentrate bitch. on the future. There is no future for us. You won't think that in a few more hours. I'm not Gastrosensory. <laughs> <laughs> Tactile. Oh, ah, uh, sorry. Volume. Finally, a word I can understand. Agreed. Okay, that moved him a few inches. Maybe I can blast him right out the door. Where's Martin? Don't worry, dear. After we're done repairing your damaged mind, we'll fix young Mr. McFly, too. I am not doing that again. I'll get him a burger later. Did 
I lose control? I can't plug my guitar into that. was a little less dramatic than I had expected. Keep playing, oh, you oh. idiot! Let's go, Your Honor. What? I can't hear you! You're welcome! Now. now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Uh, hey, it's my mom. About that. Hey. Don't talk to her. She can give us away. What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. She needs to be shot. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's... she's kind of crazy. Kind of. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. All right, Dad. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Well, uh, Clara's yeah. kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. Ew. Mom, Dad, no! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great. Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. Of course so what am I can. supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Oh, Citizen Brown? Me. Emmett? He's not coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett? 
Without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! Yeah, the power of corruption. You're not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that, too. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. It worked! Ha-ha! <laughs> One second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past! Amazing! Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. You need oh, shot, out your bitch. exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe. That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration on the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our I've trip? I've heard that three times. You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Yeah, get fucked, bitch. Fine! Leave! I run this town! And anyone on the spectrum knows that that's a brat. And she needs someone to put Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. <laughs> Bad bitch definitely needs a brat tamer. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh. Luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there. I mean, um, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. Very cool. I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow-bellied stool? Never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. But you're going to. That's what we're here for, remember? Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspire me with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. 
Of course. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70 plus years. Once we get my younger self re inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper. <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to go oh. inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget, you're Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Michael, you do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> Not what I said. <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Yeah, well, sometimes first impressions are right. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw! I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. You'll figure it out, Emmett. You only need a bolt of inspiration, that's all. Maybe if you went to a... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's Fuck idea. Sake. And she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a little confused here. Can we throw this bitch off a cliff? What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo. Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. Catch you around, Corleone. October 12th? Doc? Of course he's been whipped. Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start, and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. Oh, no, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip-off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits, and the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in a Cenozoic age. Ooh. Or worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of- Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna, where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. So, as a car. That'll be it, a funny looking car. For 1931. You were right, there she is. My soon-to-be ex-future wife is nothing if not predictable. 
Let's just fucking well, really shoot have to her. talk to her. I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh. I'll talk to her. Can I you better talk get the glory out of sight before someone... Hey, you! Quit blocking the drive! All Car of the Future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Fuck off. Why not? Good luck! And of course he just parks right in the fucking grass. Spell it! B-R-O-W-N! It's not exactly an obscure name! I still don't see it on the list, I'm sorry. Oh, for the love- Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting-edge technology. That's right. And to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward-thinking community. And yet, you want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but... Oh, dear. Mr. Corleone! You do pop up at the oddest times. What are you doing here? I need to... Whatever it is, I hope you don't have to deal with Mr. Stonewall here. His sole Fuck function seems bitch. to be preventing people from accomplishing their business. Honestly, with him keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Uh... Have you seen Emmett? Uh, no. Oh, then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think, he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him, so oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, I thought I didn't even like him. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. I mean, Emmett's nice and all, but he's not exactly the kind of guy that has girls swarming all over him. Well, I'm not your average girl. Yeah, of but... Course. I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Corleone, but I can take care of myself. I know what sure I'm looking for can. in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. Yeah. That's Emmett Brown. Rhymes with he clown, which I'm beginning to think you are. And you Just can manipulate a them. simple mix-up, I'm sure. I've no doubt of that. I still think a 45 would do this bitch a hell of a lot better.
Ahem. You said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes? What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Corleone, you know that? Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Good brain, I see. And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Uh, just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. Well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big sure. investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? Can I shoot you yet? What the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an absolutely revolutionary invention! Measures a person's affinities. What he's attracted to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course! What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or, anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. Yeah, for your purposes. Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girls, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a sheep? Drip. Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. You say you know Emmett as a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Plutonium? What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Oh, Emmett's mind map sake. demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. This one time, to power one of his science experiments, Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. Emmett's done a lot of shady things in this time. My vice principal warned me to stay away from him. Your vice principal sounds like a dolt. So you say Emmett only has eyes for you? Absolutely. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Well, it's good to hear he's finally settling down. Yes. Settling down? You know, ready to stop playing the field, as it were. Playing the... Oh, you're joking. But I can't help feeling sorry for him. Who? All of Emmett's other girls, now that he's with you. Please, I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. Huh, I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Corleone. I was hoping. That's all the questions I got. Very okay, well, then. Okay, what the fuck now? Hey, Artie. You seen my Orioli? You mean this? Of course. Yeah, thanks. Talk to her. Ask her to play a She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Exactly. Where the fuck did Trixie go? To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Uh, to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. 
to all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta Can I live get for today. In real life? Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? I'd like to pull uh, your levers. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. So Artie's working for the expo too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell. The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The Expo's darn lucky they could get him. Whose idea was it to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley? Beats me. Artie says it's all bread and circuses. But I ain't seen a single clown yet today. So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Must have slept through that class. I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women, too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So you work for the expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests. And on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. Techni, Muse of Progress. Not a bad gig. Audie got it for me. It's my entree into respectability. Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Audie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you me see where either. I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes yep. a guy's got to resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah. Uh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni Muse of Progress. Then do it as fucking Trixie. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless oh I was God. good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. What's Artie's job? Oh, he's a real high muckety muck at the expo. He's in charge of all the money and the hiring and firing. Hey, not bad. You're telling me, and super respectable too. It's a real relief for him to have a job where the boss never pulls a gun on him. For fuck's sake. It's good to see that you and Artie are both doing okay. Oh, we're more than okay. And if things keep going the way they're going, we may be more than just friends before you know it. Well, don't get too serious too fast. Nah, we're keeping things casual for now. Good. I'm sure Grandma will appreciate that. How's Kid's trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill sure. Valley, where they don't move at all. What? Same Nothing, it's just, you know, something I heard once. So no regrets about turning him in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with him in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? See ya, Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. Okay, what the fuck? Ahem. <clears throat> Back again, Mr. Corleone? What can I help you with? Well, I was thinking.
Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. An ass woman? I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? That fits Hollywood. Oh, these people are impossible. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Of does course it? it does. But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is sure. it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... His invention. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. Oh my god. That's all the questions I got. Very all well, the then. fucking riddles. How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I am afraid I can't, until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! Fuck me, Ronin. Hey, excuse me. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight! Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! You got official business here? Can I backhand yeah. this guy? Well, stay out of the way of the workers! You look familiar. Do I know you? Yep. Uh, nope. Hey, Artie! Officer! Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! Starting to wish I had a uh, fucking Tommy gun. To all who approach these hallowed halls. What's cooking? Ideas, up here. See ya, Trixie. Don't be a stranger. Fuck. Okay, where the fuck is he? It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez, this guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other. It's all Greek to me. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? 
Cause Little Miss Goody Two Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. <laughs> really? Let's have it. Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just, well, it just cheeses me off, you know? I mean, it probably don't. So what's so, uh, toe curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Well, under the influence of alcohol, my mom made a pass at me. Ooh! All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. Uh, she did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Nope. Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he knows what the greater good is. Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of Kid's gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? It's nothing. Nothing! <laughs> I, I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it and... Uh... I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't rat me out the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Have you heard from Kid lately? We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. Good reason. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. Ahem. <clears throat> Back again, Mr. Corleone? What of can I help I you am. with? I was thinking. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie Fuck. fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. That's all the questions yeah, I got. I forgot. Very you well then. Click the thing and do the thing. And, and I suppose you are still and... looking. <sighs> you might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in? Oh. What Don't have we to give here? It back. Oh, sir! Mr. McFly! Fuck. It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, oh no, no, no. What are you doing with a I've dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill Valley... I don't Valley... need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Trickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once the winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? I mean... What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry. As long as she was what only half naked. What state did you grow up in? Province, she didn't Manitoba. Fuck the bull. Why? Not even so an there's American. Not really a problem. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen. So, if you're really a Canadian, I'm being fired. She's a hot are you Canadian. Firing me? I don't want to. 
happens, I just tend to know one of them. Take it back. Well, I mean, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Oh my god, can I shoot Edna now? Preferably with a bazooka. Let's talk. Trixie? I'll do it! I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out! That's great! I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows but up... we gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm Let's no good it. with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Parlamaid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Let's do okay. it! Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. Hi, Trix. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Oh, fuck's sake. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, it would I'd be like fun to, to watch, that. but it wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs and the no. diamond? And your friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. It's oh, been four seconds. I mentioned to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Let me just hijack Jeez. it. I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Oh, for the love of God. Back in 86, I could just skateboard from Doc's lab to the high school. Ah, good. You're back. Give me the full report. She says she likes you because you've got a virtuous mind, you look good in a suit, and you're completely faithful to her. Damn, she's got me dead to rights. Well, you'll just have to find a way to change her mind. Working on I'll it. I'll be here if you need any help. Do you need I can any use help? Some help? Good news. I think Trixie's gonna go along with my scheme. Pursue whatever strategies you like, but please don't tell me the details. I think I'm starting to get a plan. Good. Tell me. No, no. After all, it's my history we're talking about. If I learn how you're planning on altering it, my resolve may weaken. Any idea what your teenage self is doing right now? Unless I miss my guess, he's in the garage frantically working on his latest invention and cursing because he can't quite get it to work. Damn! Okay, how the hell do I get to the lab? Just, yep, that ain't working. Have you figured out what's wrong with the time circuits? Not sure, possibly. It seems to me to be a simple wiring issue, but I'm double checking to make sure. All the basic equipment appears to be functional. Um, I any chance it. I could borrow the DeLorean? I want to drop in on young you at the lab. Well, I don't know. The time circuits... Listen, I promise I won't take it to 88. Even so, I'm worried about letting it out of my sight while it's still behaving unpredictably. Then get in the other fucking Tell you seat. What, I'll take it on a test drive one minute into the past. If it passes the test, I'll let you borrow it. Fuck off. Work. Didn't it? I'm afraid not. In fact, the discrepancy appears to be getting worse. I arrived six hours ago. Oh, too bad. I didn't want to risk undoing any of the work you've done thus far, so I kept out of sight. But the time lag wasn't entirely a waste. I stopped by the hardware store and bought the parts for a chronometric analyzer. A what? English. A diagnostic device. See, I plug it into the time circuits and set them to cycle. When the green light goes off, I should have the data I'll need to understand the scope of the problem. 
Hey, no driving the exhibits off the lot! Looks like you'll have to find another set of wheels if you want to get to the lab. So we gotta take the truck. No keys. I'll have to find my wheels somewhere else. Oh, for the love of Christ. Press button to experience future Hill Valley, circa 1981. I mean, do it. I don't think I've visited that timeline yet. Oh, fuck. Pleasant dreams, Hill Valley. And the Expo would like to remind you that you can find everything you need to transform your dreams into reality at Hal's Hardware. Hal's Hardware, serving our fair city since 1895. Seriously, I am not stealing this truck. Why, cause you a bitch? Back in 86, I could just skateboard from Doc's lab to the high school. Yeah, I don't see a skateboard. My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Corleone. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I better go see what's keeping him. Um... I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. Of course. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the 11th hour. But Fuck not, you. Not another word. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Miss Strickland! I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. Heavens, you shaved off your hair, but... Carl Sagan? I'd like a word with you, if I may. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. I think it may be in your best interest. You see, I know what you're up to. Let's go somewhere where we can talk privately. Why couldn't I do that? Go. I'll keep her occupied till you get back. I mean, for fuck's sake. Hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. I swear. Emmett? Thanks again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. The authorities wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. He okay, is a so violent now felon. what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps. Ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Well, yes, but she's got my best interests at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send oh, you down Lord. here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but make yourself at home. 
Thanks. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! Hey Emmett, got a sec? Why yes, in fact, I've got several. How are things between you and your father? I'm kind of surprised he hasn't torn down your lab yet. Well, he's still angry with me and threatening to cut me out of his will, but I'm hoping that the civic potential of my mental alignment meter will win him over. Hey, what's with the new threads? Do you like them? You look like Colonel Sanders. Who? Never mind. Edna gave them to me. She says my usual clothes don't have enough zing for a public exhibition. What do you say we take a break for a couple of hours and go see a movie? A couple of hours? Actually, it may be more like 70 minutes. I haven't got a couple of hours. I still got all these mind maps to sort, and the MAM's wiring is still giving me fits, and... I get it, you're busy. Can't believe you invented all this in two months. Well, like I said, there's not really a whole lot of inventing going on here. I just dressed up a $5 potentiometer with a lot of bells and whistles. But... Don't get me wrong, it does a remarkable job of telling whether a subject is currently liking or disliking what they're experiencing. But all the extra stuff about sorting out criminals from model citizens is mostly a bunch of hooey at this point. So, you and Edna... How serious are you guys? Well, we both enjoy a good joke every now and then. But I'd say on the whole we're fairly serious people. Why do you ask? No, no. What I mean is, how serious is your relationship? Oh, well, as a scientist, I can't state this with 100% confidence, but I'm provisionally certain that I'm head over heels in love. Really? With Edna? What can I say? She's my muse. In the weeks since we've been courting, she's given me so many wonderful ideas. Are you sure Edna's the right woman for you? What do you mean? Don't you think she's a little... Uh, controlling? Controlling? Edna? No, 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 no. She's just giving me a little much-needed guidance. Before I met her, I was such a flibberty gibbet. Always getting distracted by the slightest stray idea. But now, thanks to Edna, I stay focused on the task in front of me, like a narrow band stream of stimulated photon emissions. Hmm. Focused! Isn't she a little... Uh, cold? Don't let the school marm exterior fool you, buddy. Edna's got enough warmth to raise a liter of water from zero to a hundred degrees centigrade. Know what I mean? I kind of wish I didn't. I mean... I don't know. I, I just think Edna might be a little... dangerous. Oh, I agree. You do? Like all independent women, she's a danger to the patriarchal status quo. That's one of the things I love about Not her. What we she shakes things up. You have no idea. I just think you should be careful, that's all. Thanks for the concern, but I'll be fine. You sure you don't want to take in a movie? I think you'll like it. Strange as it may sound, I've got more pressing things to think about than going out to movies. Of course you do. <sighs> okay. I can't believe you invented all this in two months. Well, like I said, there's not really a whole lot of inventing going on here. I just dressed up a $5 potentiometer with a lot of bells and whistles. But... Don't get me wrong, it does a remarkable job of telling whether a subject is currently liking or disliking what they're experiencing. But all the extra stuff about sorting out criminals from model citizens is mostly a bunch of hooey at this point. Is all this new stuff what you're showing off at the expo? Yes, it's our mental alignment meter. Mental alignment meter?
I thought you were working on some sort of rocket car. Oh, the rocket propulsion system was far too unreliable, as that incident with Einstein proved. By the way, whatever happened to Einstein? I wish I knew. Anyway, I started tinkering with an alternate method of propulsion, but that was before things started heating up with Edna. Our conversations about the possibilities of applying technology to social ills pushed my research in a whole new direction. The wrong direction. What's a mental alignment meter? It's the most revolutionary piece of technology since the cotton gin. What does it do? It reads and interprets the subconscious desires of the human mind. Why would you want to probe people's minds? Why wouldn't you? Imagine being able to diagnose mental disorders with a flick of a switch, or detect the truthfulness of courtroom testimony merely by connecting a witness to a small portable device. Your machine does all that? Not yet. Frankly, right now the whole thing's just a gussied up potentiometer. But with years of refinements and a whole lot of investors, the MAM will be able to identify countless psychosis and neurosis, alcoholism, acrophobia, Oedipal complexes. And? And then we can set about curing them, of course. Of course. How does the mental alignment thing work? Here, I'll show you. Hey. The test subject wears this mind mapping helmet, which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. Uh-huh. When I turn on the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke a series of positive or negative responses, as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that... As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. All I see is a bunch of holes. Well, uh, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe as I place your mind map into the M.A.M. Let me guess, who again? Layabout. Is that machine calling me a slacker? No, your own physiological responses did. Uh, of course it did. Anyway. anyway. Did you make a mind map of yourself? Of course. Take a look. Edna's right. You are a model citizen. At least as far as my invention's concerned. Confidentially, this whole enterprise is a little light on the hard science and a little heavy on the smoke and mirrors. You look uh, busy. Okay, we we'll talk later. Ants. Sure thing. So. What's this typewriter do again? During a mental alignment test, it takes messages from the mind map helmet and turns them into punch cards. Like the one for Mr. Tannen over there. Seems complicated. Actually, it was all rather easy to put together. Once Edna gave me the idea. Sounds to me like you should be working on harder problems then. What? Uh, sorry, I've got to get back to work. Nothing happened. Well, that button advances the slides during the mind mapping test. It only works while the test is running. Oh, for fuck's sake, how many times do I gotta hit this? A 
According to Emmett, this thing prints out mind maps. So this machine takes those little cards and tells you whether or not someone's a good guy or bad guy? Kind of. Actually, the helmet does all the work. The mental alignment meter is just a glorified arcade machine. So why not just go with the cards? And it says that people respond well to flashing lights and snap judgments. I can't argue with that. Every time I kiss her, I see flashing lights and lose all sense of judgment. No kidding. Spoken like a true virgin. Want an algae cake? Sure. Well, fuck. Not sure what that'll do. Of course. Giving away my wheels. Fuck. That notebook belongs to Doc, the real Doc. I don't feel like serenading anyone right now. Oh, for the love of God. Trixie. I don't think Edna approves of her, so I guess she's a negative figure. How goes the bacteria farm? Not so hot. The bacteria have kind of gotten out of control. I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab. According to Emmett, this thing prints out mind maps. So... If I want Edna to break up with Emmett, I'll have to make his map more like Kid Tannen's. I think I know what to do, sort of. Another cake? Normally I wouldn't, but my stew's not ready yet. Fucking puzzles. What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure.
Careful, don't let all the flavor escape. There, you stinky little bacteria. Ew. That smells good. Edna likes Emmett when he's cleaned up. I wonder if she'll like him in his usual uh, sloppy state. That's not a great reading, but if I really want to get Emmett in trouble, I better aim for the bottom. want to get that covered in any messy oil. Hey Emmett, I've got a... whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh geez, I'm sorry, y your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong! What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote, so I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa! What was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Oh, for fuck's sake. You'll make sake. a fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw-shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. That cleanser doesn't seem very... Portable. It isn't, but this is... A perfume bottle? Yes. No. I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. What the hell is that? What? 
Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. So now what? Oh, for the love of Christ. Hmm. What? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. You're an Please idiot. let it be something about lightning. Life can be short. Sometimes brutally so. So, why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. Emmett, no. I'm gonna ask Edna to marry me. Right now. No. Oh, oh fuck. right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. Hey, Emmett, I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Well, you'll be fine. Doc said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Nope, no green light yet. Nope, no green light yet. Fuck. Furs donated by Lamont's House of Ermine. At least they're going to a good cause. They're stuck tight in this tar. It's a good thing I did this before Emmett's 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Okay, now fucking what? The light's green. That means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the systems check out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short end, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. For Frankly, sake. it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find.
still be safe in there. Oh, of course. And you're firm in your... I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Yes? I think I'm starting to get a plan. Good. Tell me. No, no. After all, it's my history we're talking about. If I learn how you're planning on altering it, my resolve may weaken. About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, what am I supposed to look for again? A signal that it's done evaluating the time circuits. The Son analysis can take a while. Be sure to let me know when the light turns green, and I'll take her out for another test run. Nope, no green light yet. Oh my god. Nope, no green light yet. Nope, no green light yet. How's it hanging, Emmett? No, no, no time for small talk. I've got machines to tune and mind maps to sort. <laughs> 